evening to everyone and namaskar. I am Pranav Gupta, the festival director for the Pragati Vichar Literature Festival organized by Frontlist Media. Education makes self-reliant. It inspires a man to live with dignity in society. These golden words were stated by the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji, pushed me to have a fresh look towards the book and the book publishing industry, a critical fuel for the education system. Books express the human mind of creativity, wisdom, and knowledge of people and nations. Therefore, books have always played an essential role in our country and society's progress. Literature festivals are culturally vibrant places where the exchange of multi general books, quality content, and powerful thoughts is delegated. Literature festivals in India encourage the habit of reading in young citizens and provide young professionals with a sound space for networking. What is impressive about Pragati Vichar Literature Festival is that it supports discovering new authors, new talents. We learn about latest trends and updates in the market across professional spectrums. PVLF is a well-curated fest which has an absolutely powerful impact on the young and growing community of publishers, authors, and stakeholders of the literary world. We at PVLF also works to encourage book reading habits while connecting the youth and offering them a platform to network with top-notch experienced professionals. Publishing is one of the most important creative industries, I feel. It helps to develop a thought, a idea, and mechanism through which a manuscript gets developed. A lot of people think publishing is just printing. It is not printing. Instead, it is the development of the, that idea and the thought and the publishing industry has been doing a phenomenal job in creating quality content, fueling India's knowledge economy for the decades now. Today, I applaud and appreciate each and everyone who has been behind the success graph of our industry. India is the third largest print book publishing nation in the world and second largest English language book publishing nation in the world after US, but none of the Indian companies falls under the top 100 publishing companies of the world. The vision at Frontlist and Pragati Vichar Literature Festival is to create an ecosystem and a voice for the industry to bring everyone on the common platform and work together to create India the number one publishing nation of the world. Agar 135 crore log, agar ek saath chale, to Bharat ek baar mein 135 crore kadam aage badega. Therefore, the responsibility lies on us to conquer the list of top publishing nations from the world. PBLF Awards is conceptualized by Frontless Media, and we have Nielsen Book Data as our knowledge partner and the Federation of Indian Publishers as our industry partner. It's the only partnership existing in India with sole aim and objective to promote and recognize the efforts made by our fellow Indian publishers. PBLF Publisher Awards are based on Nielsen Book Scan data, which is considered as one of the most authentic and genuine in the industry. PVLF Reader's Choice Awards are based on Nielsen Book Scan data plus public voting. And sir, I'm very glad to report that this year we got more than 240,000 votes versus in comparison to previous year, which was merely 46,000 votes. And PVLF Authors Excellence Award is based on the nomination, further shortlisted by the esteemed jury members, and then again, which is put out for the voting. The whole idea is to make the process as transparent as it can be and making the most authentic and data-driven awards in the country. Some of the key facts for the, this year's Pragati Vichar Literature Festival has been, we got more than 240,000 votes, more than 70 speakers spoke during the physical and the virtual session. PBLF promotes both English as well as Hindi authors, and this year, uh, we changed the format. Last year, sir, we did a, was a 24 hours author marathon, which went there. It was a non-stop author's marathon we did. And this year, we changed the format, and we made it five days virtual. And today, we did the physical event of it. Sir, the theme for the PBLF for this edition is taking humanity forward, which also resonates with the theme of India's G20 presidency. One Earth, one family, one future. And I take this opportunity to congratulate you and the entire of government of India from bringing the honor to our country and would like to work with you and the government on showcasing the best of Indian publishing during the G20 summit, as publishing is not only about books, but showcasing a rich culture, history, and potential we hold in all the sectors. 
The printed word has always made a great impact on human mind. The power of new ideas, timeless, uh, timeless lessons of history, and immersive quality of fiction make books our permanent friends. It is the singular appeal of expanding one's perspective that it is the root of the success of the publishing industry. The industry plays a prominent role in the dissemination knowledge in our country ever since its independence. This industry and we at Frontless Media in, has enriched the vision of Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat by publishing books in various Indian languages that mirror not only the richness of our philosophy and thought, but also underline our unique diverse culture. With this, I present you all Shri Bhupinder Singh Yadav Ji, Honorable Minister of Environment, Forest and Climate Change and Minister of Labor and Employment, Government of India to be the chief guest for this, today's evening. And may I request sir to come on the stage for the lightning of the lamp ceremony along with Dr. Shri K. Navasan Rauji, the Secretary Saitya Academy. I would ask Kapil, please join us on stage, Mr. Andre and Mr. Ramesh Mittal at the Federation of Indian Publishers. <laughs> also like to make a quote what Bhupinder Yadav ji did during the COP 27. India demonstrated walk the talk on climate change. We are now representing India. It is new long-term low carbon development strategies that articulates India vision and action plan to achieve its NDC goal and target of net zero emission by 2070. India's vision is therefore evolutionary and flexible. Sir, the Indian publishers understand this very well and hold the potential of con contributing via quality content through an essential collaboration with the Indian government through which easy to understand publications can be curated that can help the common man to understand these noble goals easily and achieve our target quickly. Sir, the Amrit Kal of the next 20 years is a pride to give wings to our aspirations and build a strong self-reliant India. Knowledge has a central place in this mission and it goes without saying that the publishing industry will play an important role. Sir, if you are in India, then you are in India. But if you are in the whole world, then you are in the whole world. And in a very different way, you are in the whole world, you are in the whole world today. And now, when we talk a little bit, you will also talk about your book, The Rise of BJP, उसके साथ साथ हम the rise of India के बारे में भी आपसे दो शब्द सुनना चाहेंगे। धन्यवाद सर। May I invite once again श्री भूपेंद्र सिंह यादव जी on the stage and couple so we can felicitate him। 